Yo, what is up guys, Renox Arts here. Um, today I'm going to be showing, doing a little tutorial on um, how to create a spotty effect in Photoshop. So, start off by getting new, new document, whatever you want to call it. And then, oh wow, that wants to go away. Right. What you got to do is go to here change that to a gradient and then you're going to put this colour to like a dark grey what, what I use is a uh, 6 ones which is 111 and for the top I use a sort of later one which is 6 4s 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 and then you just create a line down like that Okay, once you've done that, you create a new layer, go to your brush tool, and 0% hardness is what I use, which gives it a better effect, and normally about a 500 brush, yeah, so you put like a quarter of it on the top, and make sure that the colour is white. That gives it a nice effect. So a quarter of it on there like that. Oh, yeah, just a bit more. Yeah, like that. And then you create a new layer. And you change the brush size. I'll change it to about 400. And then you do that. And to give it a better effect, you go to transform. And yeah, let me see that again and it will tell you what it's called transform and perspective so what you do now is you pull it out like that from the bottom and oh wait my mouse my mouse is just broke right oh right and then you just keep bringing it in like that and you pull it down and then you can you can change it like to how it, like whatever you prefer I just prefer doing it like as I go along. I never have a specific thing for it. I just do it as it as I go along. And then you apply that and give it a nice kind of spotty effect if you can see that. Um right so basically it consists of four uh, three layers. It's got a background, gradient background and two brushes just normal side brushes it's it's a nice effect to use in like speed arts or desktop backgrounds you can like you can change the, the colour of the the, the the spotlight like to um, I don't know like nice I'm going to use blue I like blue nice blue colour um, can you can do that? Sometimes, sometimes it is nice. You know what I mean? It's a nice effect to have. See, like, but it always looks better in the white. Don't know why, but um, I don't know. So um, yeah, that's just a simple story. There is uh, better ones to come. Um, just. Uh, leave a comment with like what tutorials you want to see in Photoshop or Cinema 4D. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, if, if you want, um, I'll just put some quick text on that. Um, and I'll put tutorial and I'll change that a bit. Um, yeah, so don't um, yeah, sometimes like yeah, yeah, some people have been asking me like why I do graphics and shit and, and like how how I got into graphics and um, it's mainly because uh, Secrets HD. I asked him to make my background one day. He said, 
or get it yourself um, I'd start doing it yourself and stuff like that and I was like oh wow why have you been a dickhead and shit and then it's actually worked out alright for me to be honest um, it has uh, I've got like when I first started man I was really bad at graphics I'm not even gonna lie um, I, I was really bad and as I've gone on I, I have got better um, just something that happens over time you know uh, like if you make one bad background and someone says oh uh, you're rubbish at GFX or whatever just ignore them man you, you, get, you do get a lot better over time and um, you know you can't you can't make every background perfect like you know I make some backgrounds and I'm like oh that is pretty nice and stuff like that but so, it, it just depends like what kind of graphics packs you get and stuff like that you know like I will be releasing a graphics pack once I like with all my new stuff once I get about 300 subs I might release it at 250 I don't know yet but it like when you're doing graphics man just don't if someone says oh you're, you're, you're real bad at graphics don't listen to them man it's just it's I don't know just just ignore them you know um, yeah well I do have 220 subs so maybe in the next 30 subs I will release a graphics pack with all of my graphics stuff um, and if you want to see any tutorials with download links or anything to Photoshop, Cinema 4D or even Camtasia Studio, Sony Vegas, anything at all, After Effects doesn't bother me, just leave a comment or um, PM me um, so that's it from me uh, I'm out